How's it going guys? It's Mr. Mesa here with another weekly pickup video. And here is what I got last week. It's a little bit more toned down than it has before, but that's okay because it's given me time to kind of go through my stuff and clean out uh, my basement a little bit because at some point I would like to get this basement redone, but I've got a lot of stuff that I need to clear out of it before that happens. But um, anyway, this is what I did. So it was a little bit of a weird week. Um, I thought there was gonna be a really cool community sale uh, in a part of Chicago. That community sale ended up being a big bust. There weren't many people set up. I ended up leaving early before really anybody set up because there was just no action anywhere I went to. It was difficult to get to some of the houses. So anyway, I had to kind of piece together um, all of these pickups. So it came in a variety of ways. Um, you know, like next door deals, um, Facebook Marketplace, I think, Goodwill came in huge. And then I did go to a couple garage sales as well um, to just get some stuff. But uh, I'll go ahead and go through what I got here. So on the floor here, this is a SpongeBob TV. So one of the big things to do in like the late 90s, early 2000s was come out with these... Um, these kind of kid centered CRT TVs and they're just really small. So they just, you know, easily fit into a little kid's bedroom and um, came with usually the remote control. So anytime you see one of these with the remote control and it's decently priced, pick it up. Um, I ended up getting this for 25 bucks, uh, paid a little bit for it, but these sell for easily a um, hundred plus dollars. So this was in really good shape and it came with the remote. If it didn't come with the remote, I honestly wouldn't have, wouldn't have paid that much for it. But TVs in, in really, really nice shape. Um, they've done this with a couple other TVs. I have like a Disney princess TV they've done this with, um, you know, they did like a one for, for the movie cars. Um, and I think little tykes has come out with a TV too. So they're pretty cool. Um, they have a lot of uh, character to them. Um, a lot of the, um, built in features, you know, like, um, for example, the volume control, it shows a little SpongeBob animation on there. So really, really cool stuff. Um, next thing I got, so this is, <laughs> this one of those BB-8, uh, robots, um, really, really nice robot here, uh, came with the remote, uh, both charging cords and then the robot itself. Uh, the robot itself is definitely over a foot tall, a little over a foot tall, probably about 15, 16 inches tall. Um, it does somewhat work. So when I was driving, I had to kind of put on the brakes and this thing just went flying forward, um, so it, I, I, I've tried charging a couple times and following the instructions. It, it doesn't kind of consistently do what it needs to do. So I think I need to do some troubleshooting for it uh, and, and kind of see what's going on with it. Maybe watch some YouTube videos, but it is really cool. And I only got it for 12 bucks. Uh, these things sell for about 150 to 200. So really, really good pickup uh, for that. All right, other stuff here. So this was an interesting garage sale that I went to. It was a reseller, and he just had a ton of stuff that he had to get rid of. Um, pretty much already been picked through, but I ended up getting um, some decent video game stuff that some people skipped over. Um, so this goes with the video game Spy Hunter. And what it is was it's a promo piece, gift with purchase, not for resale. So if you purchase one of these games in store, I imagine this is for the PS2 version, uh, you got this little Spy Hunter car. Uh, so really, really cool promo piece. I love like the, um, the video game promo pieces that, you know, weren't sold. And the, there's a few promo pieces in here. Uh, triple play 2000 with my man, Sammy Sosa on the front. Yeah. Really weird seeing Sammy Sosa on the front of a, a video game, <laughs> but, um, really common game, but the box is in really nice shape. I don't think I had this box, so I had to pick it up. Uh, this is a teenage mutant Ninja turtles vehicle. I'm not sure exactly what this vehicle is called. It's got some of the stuff on there. It's in a little rough shape. You can kind of see some of the, the rubber is, is gone from there. Um, but I bundled it with this. It's, it's something good to pick up. Probably about 25, 30 bucks there. Uh, also got this uh, Nintendo Power uh, case. So Nintendo Power had a lot of promo stuff. It was a magazine made by Nintendo. Very successful magazine, especially in the 90s. Um, and it, late 80s, I should say. But, um, you know, you could, you know, sign, you could, uh, basically send in like a mail order, uh, for certain things. And this is one of the things, this holds Nintendo 64 games. Um, there's a lot of things that are more coveted than this. Uh, it's, the plastic is actually a little broken inside, but it's still a ca cool case nonetheless. 
Also, this uh, VHS tape, this Toys R Us VHS tape for Banjo-Kazooie. So um, Nintendo came out with these uh, promo VHS tapes and the stores would play them and it would help them hopefully sell the game. So I don't know how much this sells for, but I imagine I can get something for it. Another cool promo piece. Um, at Goodwill, I found another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vehicle. Uh, this is called the Foot Cruiser. I got this for three bucks. Um, it is definitely missing a lot of pieces. Uh, you can see the front. I mean, this, uh, that little blue piece has been rammed in. <laughs> Somebody probably, kid probably was just ramming it into a wall or something. Um, uh, missing something on the top. This still sells for about 20, 25 bucks. Uh, pretty cool piece here. So I was happy to find that for three bucks at Goodwill. Uh, got this calculator for a dollar. It's TI-84 plus silver edition. Uh, these sell for about 50 bucks. It does work, so I'll be able to resell that, and that'll be my one good $50 flip out of this week. Remember how I always say that you always need something guaranteed like that, one of those dollar finds that you have that flips for 50 It really gets you a lot of your money back. This was really cool. So I found this in an estate sale along with the SpongeBob thing. Paid $10 for it. Comes with this case, which I couldn't find this case anywhere on eBay. It's a video Walkman. So basically, let me try to get this off without. Okay. So basically, this is it right here. You can't see my reflection there. Hey! And what it is, is it's a portable television, but also a video recorder. So it's basically like, um, if you know those little CRT TVs with the built-in VHS player, it's almost kind of like that, except this obviously cassette, and you can record onto cassette tapes here. Um, really interesting piece. The screen is immaculate. Only thing, only big issue is it's missing the battery pack. So don't technically know if it works, but for 10 bucks, I mean, working, these sell for like $230, $200. So I'm thinking I can at least get 100 for it, maybe even more if they notice how rare that is. So really good pickup there. Uh, I got these two Harry Potter books. Uh, I got these at a garage sale. I think they were two for $3. Uh, pretty good pickup there. Still waiting to complete the set, uh, so I can sell that set for about 60 or 70 on eBay. I got this. This is like a replay. It's like an HD cam or something. I got this for 10 bucks, and I think these sell for like 60, 70 bucks, I think I was seeing, maybe even a little bit more. And it looks like it's just a little, little HD camera. Not sure exactly what they do, but almost looks like a GoPro or something like that. Maybe I could use it for my uh, video footage, right? But really, really cool. Really cool device. Uh, next deal I got was off of Nextdoor. So I got a, a bunch of PlayStation 2 games um, as well as that box. That's not included. Total coincidence that that's right next to it. But that PS2 box is empty, but it does have like the plastic in it. It's got the styrofoam, and this box is in immaculate condition. So basically on Nextdoor, they listed a bunch of... Uh, PS2 games and controllers for 20 bucks. Uh, one of the good ones in there was this Contra Shattered Soldier one, and uh, Road Rash is a decent one too. Um, and I said, yeah, I'll pick it up for 20 bucks. And when I got there, there was more things there that weren't in the picture, that PS2 box being one of them. And uh, the Xbox 360 controller, along with this charging port. So this was, uh, it's actually kind of a rare uh, charging dock for uh, Xbox 360. Um, for the um, rechargeable batteries and it just sort of kind of popped in there um, also came with this ps2 remote which is a pretty cool remote all right because a lot of people did use the playstation 2 as a um as a dvd hub as well so it made sense to come out with a remote control but everything was just in really nice shape like this power cord definitely goes with the ps2 looks like it's never been opened you know stuff like that that you can really like this too it looks like it hasn't even been taken up you know, I don't think that's ever been used. I mean, so I could easily package that with that PS2, and it's just all in really, really nice shape. Um, that Contra game I was talking about is about a $20 game, complete in box. Um, so Grand Theft Auto is right there. That'll probably sell for about $30. Um, Ratchet and Clank is down there. That's a good series. There's a game called 13 down there, which is decent. So a lot of decent games. Nothing crazy, but for 20 bucks, including that box. I mean, I'd probably pay 20 bucks alone for that box just because it's in great shape. Um, it was a good deal. I uh, got this PS2 Slim. Uh, it did turn on. I tested it at Goodwill. Got it at Goodwill, like I said, for 20 bucks. 
a pretty good deal. I'm trading this in for about 45 bucks. So make 25 bucks off of it. And that's fine by me. Uh, at a garage sale, I found this. This is like a, so anytime you find like, like camel, like cigarette promo stuff or Marlboro, like pick that stuff up. It usually sells pretty good. So this is just like a thing for like screwdrivers. Kind of see there. It's a Phillips right there. And it's got four different, um, four different screwdriver heads here. And um, first I thought it was like a, like a stogie thing or something, but it, but it was, I think maybe, it, maybe they tried to make it to look like that, but it's just for screwdrivers. This sells for about 12 bucks. So easy to ship, make about eight, $9 off of it. Um, I got this, uh, this Wii bundle right here. There's Wii Sports on top and then the Wii. Um, I paid 30 bucks for it, not including the PS4 game. It's in there. Uh, not bad. It also came with a couple controllers and, and the Wii Fit balance board. Um, not a great deal, but should be able to get at least 60, 70 for the Wii. And then, um, I mean, I'll make 70 bucks off of it, but obviously whenever you get a Wii bundle, you're always hoping to get like, um, you know, some Mario games or some just uh, Pokemon stuff or something like that. Um, that PS4 game I got for a dollar. So I got that for a dollar at a garage sale and that's a, that's a pretty decent deal. I'll take that. Um, I'll go over the last deal in a second, but I got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles puzzle at Goodwill for $2. All the pieces are in there. I put it together. It was awesome. Um, they sell for about 15, 20 bucks. That's, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Got this Star Wars book for, I think two or $3. This sells for about 10 to 15. Um, got one of these children's Bibles. So I sold one of these earlier for $15 and the binding was terrible. So I'm hoping with this, I can get at least 20 bucks. I paid three bucks for it, but with the condition, it's definitely well worth it. Uh, what else did I get here? So the last deal included everything there. The 64 games, Mario 3, and this GameCube. I think I paid like, and the controller, but the controller's crap. It's GameStop. And I think I paid like, $90 for everything, $95 for everything, which is a great deal because this GameCube, um, a little sticky on the, on the eject button. I'll trade this in for about $50. Um, Mario I'll trade in for about 35, Mario Party 3 about 50, Mario 3 about 17. So I'm always already above my list there. So these two games together, and then I got some pretty decent Xbox and PS2 titles. Some Xbox titles that I didn't have, PS2 titles that I didn't have. Um, Soul Calibur 3 down there is like a $15, $19 game. So, I mean, I got probably about $250 in value there. So really good pickup. It was at a reseller's place, but um, he obviously wasn't real good on checking the price. I cannot believe this GameCube. So he sold this GameCube for 20 bucks. I cannot believe it didn't sell for that. Um, even though it, it's the system by itself, that's still worth way more than that. Um, so overall, that's what I got. Like I said, uh, I didn't really hit it that well in the garage sales, but you got to kind of piece together your weeks. And that's what I did here. So really, really happy overall. Thank you guys for continuing to watch. I know most of you guys are my friends or people that have known me in the past, which is great. I'm just kind of doing this for fun. Um, but hopefully I'll get some real life footage for you at some point. I don't know if it'll be this year, but um, maybe sometime in the future here. So thanks a lot, guys. Continue to stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you.